in this video, I'm going to share my simple five steps plan to start selling your WordPress web design services. And I'm also going to share a couple of extra tips. So make sure you watch until the end. Hello, I'm your host Casino from Casino.com. I'm the digital alchemist. And today we're going to talk about selling WordPress web design services. Now, maybe you are new to the game or maybe you are already selling WordPress web design services, but maybe you'd like to know if you're doing things the right way. Now, I'm not saying in any case that my way is the best, but this is just the experience I've come up with. So if I had to start from scratch today, this is what I would do. Number one, get your skills up to par. Now, luckily for you, we live in a day and age where education is the least of your concerns because you can get it either for free or for very cheap. Now, one good place to start is this free web design course for beginners from Envato Tuts Plus. You can find it here for free on YouTube. And then you can move on to some WordPress tutorials. You find plenty of tutorials on my channels and on other channels. There are many, many resources for free here on YouTube. Now, if you wanna go premium, there are many platforms among which Udemy that you can see here on screen, but there are many, many others. Now I started with the basics of web design because many people just dive in WordPress without any idea of the basic rules of web design. And I'm not saying you should study for years web design. You can just follow that five hours free course that I just talked about, but then you will know about typography, about colors, and you'll be more experienced or more valuable than the person that's just gonna uh, purchase the theme and you know slap the client's logo on it as I often say now honestly you just take this free five hours course on youtube take five hours out of your day and you don't need to remember everything but take some notes and then move on to learning wordpress or maybe you already know wordpress but then move on to bettering your wordpress skills and by the way you can better your wordpress skills by going to my elementor and wordpress playlist because i got plenty of tutorials there and it's completely free. Next, create a strong brand and portfolio because not only will it make you stand out from the competition, but also it's gonna teach you how to work with clients. So if you take a look at this sneak peek of my website redesign, because currently this is my homepage and this is going to be the new one unless I change my mind. <laughs> I already changed several times. But as you can see, it starts with a logo, strong brand, brand colors, and overall a consistency throughout the design. If you want to sell to upscale client, you need to have an upscale design. If you want to sell cheap services, then you need to go for a cheaper design. Just be consistent with the brand. And next, start building your portfolio. And you don't need a lot of websites. You just need three. So you could have a one page website, a three pages website, and a five pages website, for example. What's important is that you put out your best work out there. And I always give the advice, if you don't have any clients yet, and that would make sense at that stage, just go and look for a mom and pop shop that would be pretty happy to have a free website offered to them. And just make sure the rules are in your favor. So you're gonna tell them something like, okay, this is how much it would cost. I'm ready to build it for free. First condition, you can never tell it was built for free. And second condition, I get to choose the design because, hey, I'm offering it for free. I wanted this to be in my portfolio, so I really want this to look the best it can. You may get a few no's, and I even wonder why, because it's free, but eventually you will get some yeses. And from then on, you should treat those projects as real life projects, because that's going to teach you how to manage clients, how to manage your time. And I strongly advise you to write down everything. So all the time you spent all the communication back and forth, the email, even if you have a phone conversation, just confirm it via an email, make sure you get the good habits from the beginning. And that's really gonna help you down the line because that's gonna help you to identify good clients and red flag clients, but also it's gonna help you to price your services. Next, learn the basics of project management. And as you may have guessed, you can learn it for free here on YouTube. Now, when it comes to tools, I actually created a video a few years ago about a tool I absolutely love, which is called Perfect CRM. So if you're interested, just go and watch that video. And as you can see, it only costs 65 bucks and you pay it one time. So it's pretty cheap for what the software can do. Now, sure, you could just handle the project by email and phone calls. But if you want to look more professional and actually if you want this to be more professional, use a tool because that's going to help you so much because when you start with just one client it's easy to remember everything and to know where things are and what the planning is and that kind of stuff but as you start progressing and getting more clients it's going to be 
hell if you try to remember things and just look for emails can't tell you how many emails i get per day but if you're using a dedicated project management tool that's going to be so easy because at any given time you know what the state of the project is that is if you use the tool as it should be used but if you do that's going to help you so much down the line next learn the basics of sales and marketing now just like for everything else you can pretty much find anything you want here on youtube or you can go to premium platforms but if you decide to learn here on YouTube, there are great, great resources, but just be careful because there are a few scammers out there. They're going to try to sell you high ticket, uh, 2K, 5K, 10K courses. You don't need any of that. Just take some notes on the free YouTube videos and write down the basics. And I'm not saying you should not get a course because you could probably purchase a nice course and there's no problem with that. I'm just saying don't go spend 10K on a course to learn the basics of sales and marketing. And then once you've been introduced to the basics, it's now time for action. And one of the best ways, in my opinion, the most straightforward ways to get some leads that you can then convert into clients is Google Ads. Google Ads works really great. Now, yes, it involves money, but it's going to bring you quality leads. So yes, you're going to pay, but like, for example, in the example here, someone typed dance classes and they see this ad. So they're already willing to pay for dance classes. Just imagine web design services, WordPress web designer or simple WordPress website, whatever. But just imagine, you know, the thought process of the person willing to purchase the services. So yes, you paid for an ad, but these are hot leads. And because at this stage, you know, the basics of sales, basically you're going to practice on your leads and try to close some deals. And eventually you will. Now, another of my favorite ways to get some leads is business networking. And I'm talking about face-to-face -face networking because sure you can use LinkedIn, but I found that by meeting people face-to-face, -face, it's way easier for me to close deals. And also I get higher paying clients. Now, if money is not an option and if business networking is not an option, you could always go to platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, or or 99 designs now these are not my preferred way of finding leads but it can work and i know some people totally crushing it now if you're wondering how to price a web design services I actually created a video about it so i'll put a link in the description below number five go broad first and then specialize so what do i mean by that well many people advise you to specialize and niche down and it's a good advice but how do you know what to niche down to in the first place so the way i would do it is i would try a bunch of things first like creating one pages website a small mom and pop shops websites e-commerce websites and while doing those projects i would really write down each and every minute i spend on each project this way at the end of the project i would have a precise idea of the exact time that i spent on the project so that would tell me exactly how much i got paid for each hour of work and then i would also write down how i felt about each project so in my case for example i realized that i much prefer building five pages websites one pages websites landing pages because I've been working on e-commerce websites and even though the initial amount looks way more than just a five pages website, if you divide what you're getting paid by the time you spent on each project, actually it's much more profitable for me to do a few one pages website than doing a big big e-commerce website and also it's way more fun for me to build a five pages website or even a landing page because it's more fast-paced and i enjoy that a lot more and i hate dealing with all the micro tasks on an e-commerce project but who knows i may change my mind later on but right now this is what i think so that's what i meant by try a lot of different things and then specialize so for example for me now to build such a website with five six pages i go really really fast because I've really nailed it down to a science. And that means that if for the same price, I spend way less time, it means that I'm much more profitable. And I can either take on more projects or enjoy more me time. Okay, I promise you a couple of extra tips. So here they are. Well, the first tip is don't provide other services unless you start art sourcing. So for example, on top of web design services, don't start offering email services, logo design services, that kind of stuff. You can do it later down the road, but not at the beginning, because if you do, you're gonna feel overwhelmed. Focus on your main craft, and then when the time comes, you can outsource and add additional services. And extra tip number two, don't handle hosting and domain names yourself, unless that's your core business, of course, because it could be very lucrative. But if your core business is selling WordPress web design services, 
services, I would strongly advise against it. And that for the simple reason that it can quickly become a nightmare. Because when clients forget to pay, you need to pay the provider upfront. You need to pay for the hosting. You need to pay for the domain names. And even though you got a retailer pricing, still you need to shell the money out. And then the thing is, some clients will never pay you. But in the meantime, you're going to need to take care of it. So you're going to email them, call them and be under constant stress. So what I do instead is that I let my clients pay directly to the web hosting and the main name providers, but I help them. So usually I do it with them. You can do it with Zoom or if you have an office that can come to your office and you're just going to assist them to register the domain name, take the hosting, and then they're going to give you the credentials and then you can take care of everything when it comes to the technical side of it. So yeah, you cannot make extra money on top of this if you're just going to help them and set them directly with the web hosting company. But the advantage is that you don't get all the stress. If they forget to pay, that's them with the web hosting company. It has nothing to do with you. So I hope that this video is going to help at least one person out there. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like because that's really, really, really going to help the channel. And if you want more web design and web development goodness, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Cut!